But when you a person that's getting money, I'm talking about real money that's touching a real bag or on your way up that ladder and progressing and doing shit and starting to be successful, you have to move different. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Lotion. I just got that I just got out the shower and it anyways, um I wanted to come on here and talk about um some things and I wanna know if you guys agree with me. So let's get into that video. Sorry guys, I got interrupt. Um so I watched this video on like friends and and like, oh, hold on. Let me go. I need to get my charger. Let me just keep talking. Anyway, so I watched a video on like friends and stuff, right? And she was like, if your circle is not trying to, you know, basically like if your friends are not trying to become like <laughs> millionaires or like are leveling up, like want to level up, then you need to cut those people out your life. And like... When I watched that video, I felt that because it's like, you know, I'm not, you know, I, I don't know grudges with nobody. Like, I don't have no beef, you know, but I, like, was shocked what she was saying because, hold on, y'all. All right, y'all, I'm back. So, when I watched that video, I'm like, wow, like, she made some valid points because not everyone has the best for you, if that makes sense. And, like, you got to really keep your circle small because not everyone has the best for you. And it's like... You got to really keep your eyes on people because it's like, if you talk about, oh, I just got a new car or I just got this or that, you know, it's like people get mad. It's like, wow, like they get jealous and it's like you be the closest ones to you that get jealous. And it's like, why are you like, why are you getting mad? Like you, you know, you, you're on the same level as me. So are you mad that I'm getting, like, a new car because I saved, you know? I don't got a new car. I'm just saying in general, you know? So, it's like, when I watch that video, I'm like, whoa. It's like, in this day and age, it's like you can't show off what you worked hard on because another person would get jealous. And it's like, and when she was saying, um, and you got to keep it private because not everyone wants to see the best for you. And it's like, I, I'm true with that. I, like, I agree with her because... Not everyone wants the best for you, you know? And it's like, that's so sad to hear, but it's the truth because you work so hard and, you know, you want to show your friends your, you know, not even just friends, it's people in general. Like, you want to show off your hard work, but people don't, but, you know, they don't. It's just, it's, it seems like they get like, ugh, like, come on now, you know? It's like they get mad, you know? It's like, oh, you changed. And it's like, you didn't change, you know? Because... Just because I worked it hard and I wanted to upgrade my life and level up because I worked hard for it. Damn right I am because I worked hard for it. It's something I always dreamt about, you know, and it's like it's so crazy that the, really some of the closest ones in your circle get mad, you know, and it's like, wow, like was you really for me or you just wanted the sauce? You know, you got to be careful with your friends because you got to be careful because. You don't know if they just want to be with you because of your sauce or they just want to be with you until they get to a certain point and then they dump you. You got to be careful with that, you know, because you can have friends. Oops. Because you can have friends that um be so proud of you and whatnot. And then like minutes later, they start kind of doing the same thing you're doing. Not like that's a bad thing, but it's like, when did you ever like feel like when did you ever like want to do this you know and so you got to be careful with that because i see that all over social media like have y'all been seeing it especially on like on twitter and stuff it's like all these people are posting like you got to really be private and that's true you know you don't need to be it's like you can't tell nobody that you gotta you know you just you can't tell nobody oh i got this and got that it's like if you do they get mad it's like why you know and it's 
I don't want to make this like a race thing, but it's most, you know what, no. It's mostly in my black community. And I hate to say it, it's the truth. It's mostly in my black community. It's like, when you level up, people get mad. And it's like, there's social media, there's free resources, there's Google. You can literally do the same thing they're doing. They just put their mind to it. Something that you really wanted to do, you didn't put your mind to it. But they're doing your goal. If you get what I'm saying, y'all got to be careful with those kind of people because it's like, you know, if they match you like, oh, like, oh, I want to do YouTube, but I don't know, you know, then yeah, you do YouTube and you get big, they get mad because it's like, that's my dream, you know, but it's like, it was both of our dreams, if that makes sense, you know, just. And then when I see these YouTubers like flossing and stuff, that's fine, you know, it's all right, but it's like, you got to be careful with that because people are just jealous. I don't get why because people are just so jealous. And it's like, social media is so free. You can be an influencer. You can literally grind. You can literally be an influencer for a whole year and you would get high up. And people just don't want to put in the work. You know, they'd rather get mad that somebody else is doing what they want to do. But they put in the work. And what do you expect? Just, yeah... Just be careful. That video just really, really made me feel like, wow, you know. Because, like, you can't even post that you're out of town. Like, you can't even do that. Like, somebody always got to, you know, it's just this world is just so crazy. And that when I hear these news stories that friends are killing friends and all this and all this, like, wow. You know, it's like, this is crazy. Like, you, like... And you would think this person on your team, but this person's not on your team. And you just sit there like, whoa, did I know the red flags? And the thing is, sometimes you don't want to see red flags, you know, but you got to feel that gut feeling. If you feel that gut feeling, you have to do it, you know. That's why I stopped to use the Snapchat. I stopped to using it. It just seemed like they, they always watch my every move, you know. I have not open up about anything no more. I know you don't post to do that, but it's hard to open, like, it's hard to open up to people. But it's like, I keep that shit in me. Because it's like, when you let it out, they either understand, but they don't understand. You know, it's like, they be like, yeah, I know, but they don't. Sometimes you just be saying it just to say it, you know. You got to notice, if people just rant to you, And then you try to rent to them and they don't pay attention to it. You know, they just be on their phone and be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a red flag. You know, you got to be careful with that. Because it's like, I listen to you and I listen to me. You know, and it's like, what's so hard for you to listen to me? I listen to you. You know, it's just in this generation, mostly all generations. People. I think it's social media. I don't think it's social media. It's just everybody uses social media as a different experience. Like people just don't be posting just to post, just to, you know, make their haters jealous. It's just people like to post what they worked hard for. That's that people can't like look into that. You know, they get mad and get jealous. And it's like, why are you getting jealous? You know, I worked hard for this. You know, it's like you can't even. What I'm trying to say is like you can't even show your success it's like you can't show your success to anyone really but your family and it's like family over anybody you know and it's like wow you know it's like it's just it's just crazy like if this quarantine like if this didn't show you who your real friends are then I don't know what to tell you. You know, I'm not talking about nobody. I'm just saying, no. If the quarantine, like this time, didn't show you who your real friends are, you got to really be careful because sometimes they just be riding with you. That's to ride with you. They do. And then, bloop, they gone. Bloop, they gone. And they can backdoor you, basically. Like she said in the video, they can literally backdoor you. 
And you got to be ready for that. Like, for real, you got to be ready for that. Because it's like, wow. You know, that's why, you know, don't kind of open up to everybody. It don't matter how long you knew them. Because a person in two months will show you what seven years of friendship was. And that's facts. And that's facts. But, yeah, I just wanted to talk about that, that video. I don't know what I should call this. Um, Probably... I'm probably going to call this, like, keep eye on your friend circle. Here's why. Probably like that. But, yeah. Subscribe. And I love you guys. And I'm getting so close to 200 subscribers. Tell your friends to subscribe. Okay? I'm, I do vlogs. I do chit-chats. I do rants. And I just do mostly everything. And love you guys. And peace.